I am Joseph, Joseph of Nazareth. I, uh, I work in wood and stone, and thank you for coming here to the Sabbath day. These hands are lifted in prayer and worship to the one who made these hands and the wood and the stone. Why, she said, Joseph, please understand, I have known no man, and yet a child grows within. She looked down and smoothed her robe to reveal the lump of a child. What would a righteous man do? What would you do? I received Mary into my home, and in doing so received the condemnation of uh, all the neighbors, for they had not seen an angel. They could not know, as we did, this was the child of God. So excited, Mary asked him, what, what did the angel say? The young one spoke. He said, why, there was an angel who said, go to Bethlehem. You will find a babe wrapped in clothes, lying in a manger. And then, then there was a heavenly choir singing glory to God in the highest. Shh, did you go wake the baby? <laughs> My family. Oh, another story from Bethlehem. You know, the child was born there, but we did not stay in the stable for long, as after the census, others moved on back to their homes, and having a newborn child, it was not time to travel, so we stayed in a home, one of our relatives, for some time. I busied myself with work, of course, carpentry, and one day was working on the town well. They stopped. And we watched as their camels knelt. One of them came up to me, and he said, uh, Shalom, we come in peace. We are looking for a child who is born king of the Jews. Do you know of such a child? They bowed with their faces to the floor, and Jesus' hand was almost ready to grab a bauble off of one of their headpieces. <laughs> Mary and I both sprang to stop him, but then it was that the man looked up, and he said, uh, Greetings, tiny king. We have brought you a gift. In his hand was a precious piece of gold. <laughs> Baby Jesus took that piece, chewed on it, and gave it to his mother. For you see, it is the duty of every man to train up his children. Yes, not just on Sabbath day when we go to synagogue and we learn the holy writings and we drink them in, but then we think them through and we talk about them daily as we rise up, as we walk upon the road, as we lie down. Why the man turned in anger, cursed beggars, why are you? I immediately jumped up from where I was. I said, a good worker, if this child had a father to provide for him as yours do, he would not be gleaning. We went back to finish our small lunch that Mary had provided. I saw Jesus seated with his new friend. Take his piece of bread, tear it in half, and give the larger piece to his new friend. The laughing, shouting tickle match there on the floor. <laughs> and Jesus said, Mother, Mother, do not forbid it. He said, Let the little children climb unto me. <laughs> <laughs> listen, mother, listen, they hear my voice. <clears throat> he stood up. <clears throat> Little lambs, listen up. Immediately they stopped. Bah. He said, Little lambs, follow me, and we will go to find greener pastures. <laughs> With a kiss on his mother's cheek, out they went. Yes, now, James, listen. You must prove your faithfulness by what you do, son. Yes. <laughs> no, for he who has an ear to hear, let him hear. <laughs> That's what my father always told me. <laughs> Many times I have said it to my children as well. It is a marvelous work, not in wood or in stone, but uh, perhaps in something more eternal. <laughs> the souls of our children.